We are in the Northern California Redwood country and we are at Confusion Hill. I'm so confused. It's off 101 and we've passed it before, kind of between, I guess, Garberville and Willits. And now we are actually going to go in. And usually where it says enter, that's a good place to go in. So here we go. So this place has been open since 1949 and is a classic roadside attraction from the post-World War II era. Our first exhibit here at Confusion Hill, there are two cement slabs, the south piece and the north piece, and they're level as indicated by the level here. And Jen is standing on the north one. I'm standing on the south one, and if I look perfectly across, our eyes are almost exactly level, wouldn't you say, Jen? Yes. Okay, and now we're going to trade sides, and I am a lot taller than her all of a sudden. I'm definitely looking down at her. We have experienced our first confusion here in Confusion. <laughs> are you confused? I'm confused. <laughs> All right, let's carry on. Here we are at confusion number two, and look at this room, and what do you see here? Water is flowing uphill, and then continuing to flow uphill right out of the trough. Ooh. Hey, Jim, what happens if you let go of that bar? Oh, look at you. Very cool. All right, let's see what Jen's going to do. Oh, look at her. She's defying gravity. Her feet have left the ground. Wow. Good job. They also have a train ride, a 30 minute train ride that goes around through the redwoods. It's not the right time of the year to do that, so it's closed. But something to do on another time, perhaps. Any good tourist trap includes a gift shop. And this one has a lot of woodworkings and carvings and some Native American art. So it's worth checking out. Let's see if Jen found something. Find anything cool, Jen? There's a giant sequoia. If you plant that now in what, a few thousand years? years. <laughs> hundred years? <laughs> Probably more than that. There's also a fair amount of Bigfoot swag. And unfortunately on this trip through northern Redwood country, this is as close as we got to seeing Bigfoot. And look at this! There was an old woman who lived in a shoe and I think this was her house. Very cool. Jen is standing next to the world's tallest chainsaw carving. It is 44 feet tall, including the sign. And apparently it's the world's tallest. And you know it's legit because it's as seen in Ripley's Believe It or Not. How's that for cool? Really like this carving. This guy looks pretty cool, but turns out he's two-faced. We've completed our visit here to Confusion Hill, and as we stand here with our buddy, Mr. Panda, <laughs> uh, what do you think, Jen? Five bucks to get in? Five bucks each? It was well worth it. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. a lot of fun. We'll give it a thumbs up.